Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another film review. Uh, tonight we're looking at a uh, British horror film uh, made in 2013 and it's called The Borderlands. Now this was made in 2013, directed by Elliot Goldner, um, starring a few unknown sort of, um, sort of stars, uh, Gordon... Uh, Kennedy, um, Aidan McArdle and Robin Hill. I don't really know anyone, I don't know anything about them till uh, sort of like this sort of film. And this film is a, uh, it's, it's a found footage horror film. And it's got like, like a little bit of sort of black humour behind it by, because one of the characters, I think Robin Hill is the character, um, he plays uh, and this is about a, a small team from the Vatican that go around investigating sort of like miracles and, and sort of like work making, solving them, saying that they're not real, you know, that they're all made up. A little bit like um, um, uh, that uh, Stigmata, but not as... Um, <laughs> Not as big budgeted or, or as major as with that. Um, this is more like a small sort of British budget sort of film. And it's and it's been filmed as a sort of found footage film where with the the Vatican team have hired this this uh, this lad to do set up cameras and do all things around this church. It's a church in little small church in a, in a small sort of village in England. And they're there to investigate this so-called sort of phenomenon that's happened there uh, i believe um the the priest of them has contacted the vatican saying that they've they've had a miracle with there and um there's like a bit of footage in the film where you see like a, a christening going on and the, the camera sort of all breaks up and like things on the altar fall over and stuff like that. So they've gone to investigate this with this guy and he sets up cameras all around the sort of church and stuff and sort of befriends one of the sort of priests and they're waiting for another priest to arrive from the Vatican. And that's where the sort of film kind of kicks off with when he arrives they start investigating this church and then they start hearing all these sort of strange noises and stuff and that, that they think it's all been sort of put on and as the film sort of unwinds it comes out that, it, that it's not been put on um this stuff has been going on and one of the priests uh succumbs to sort of like uh, i think his name's mark succumbs to an injury uh, while he's investigating this this part of the church where this noise is coming from, they start hearing this sort of scratching noise and stuff like that. And y y we get clips at night time with the, the priest of the actual church. Is, he goes back to the church because during the day he's been moved out so they can go and investigate and see if there's any wires or any speakers or anything anywhere that could cause this to be fake, all these sort of weird and strange happenings that are going on. And these bizarre happenings start going a bit bizarre. There's one part of the film which is a bit horrible actually, where they hear this noise coming outside their their sort of um, bungalow where they're all staying up, you know, between days of filming around the church. And they go out and they find a sheep that's been set on fire in 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 the field, and they go and put it out and stuff like this. This poor poor sheep and stuff like this, but I think that's been done by the locals, the local teams trying to wind these people up. Um, but it's nothing to do with the actual church investigation. But all these sort of little weird events happen, and that they start discovering some history of of the place, and they discovered that the church has been built on an old pagan area. And so this is a Roman Catholic church being built on a pagan area. So these sort of like spiritual and religious connections are sort of like uh, fighting each other. So they carry on investigating the church and we get loads of eerie moments in the church at night and it's all filmed with like these sort of like night cams, almost very, very similar to... um paranormal activity sort of thing where you, it would jump from camera to camera and you'll see the odd little thing waving or moving or the odd little door creaking it, it's filmed that sort of way 
which brings absolute bags and oodles of atmosphere to the film. And there's a few good jump scares in the film as well, which is really, really cool. And their investigation um, gets dug even deeper when the local priest decides to kill himself. The, um, while they're investigating, they, they're trying to say that this is the priest setting it all up. Anyway, Mark, the, 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 the priest from the Vatican, finds him on the roof and is talking to him. And that, that priest jumps off the roof and, and sort of kills himself. Be, um, and all this sort of bizarre things going on. So is this entity, is it um, a, a miracle or is it something more sinister like a, a demon or something evil? Because as they go deeper, deeper into the story and involve the church, they find some sort of catacombs underground underneath the church, which the, 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 they eventually, in the third part of the film get sort of entangled in and sort of lost and looking for one another and and then bizarre sort of films um things happen and then it's it comes to a sort of like an abrupt sudden end which i really liked i, I rarely i like uh abrupt endings but i think do you know what you ended that right i thought yeah that's the best way to end it i really enjoyed the ending um so what did i think of the borderlands it's an amazing film. Now, I saw this years and years ago. Very, very vague memories of it. Um, but it's just got this re-release on Second Sight. And I absolutely had a wonderful time watching it. I was absolutely crapping myself at parts. Not because... Uh, 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 it's just because of the atmosphere. It's so quiet, like at night time. And then you'll hear something, you know, a rustling and stuff or scratching, or baby scream, or crying, or anything like that, and, because there's a back story of underneath this sort of church where the catacombs are, uh, this pagan sort of whatever um, was back in the day, centuries before, on this area, were killing babies for sacrifices and stuff like that, and this is why the baby was crying in the uh, um, sort of, baptism that we're going through but they find all these sort of skulls and baby remains and stuff in this sort of catacombs and it's very quite disturbing in the way of that now there's no gore in the film and there's nothing gory in the film um and deaths are minimal but i don't think you required that i, I think this is more of a spooky sort of a, a paranormal kind of um uh, film uh, with like a you know it's this unknown sort of thing isn't it that the church tend to believe in and they don't that they believe in it but they're always trying to prove that it's not real and it's fake this sort of like demonic sort of things that are going on so I would describe this as a found footage um, religious folk horror um, I would class it as a folk horror as well because of the, the pagan sort of history behind it. And it's been built, or this church has been built on that ground. So there's a there's a folk history amongst it. So it's got folk horror elements, found footage. Um, and the found footage is really cool. I mean, Robin Hill's character is hilarious because he's not like a religious sort of believer. But he's, he's quite funny in the film. He brings a little bit of humour to the film, which gives it a little bit of a sort of like an early Peter Jackson sort of feel to the film with his sort of humour. Um, but then this film sort of picks pace up and becomes a more serious sort of like religious kind of um, horror, which I love. I love relig religion in horror. I think there's not enough, apart from, you know, you, you get your loads of exorcism and possession films, but I, I wish there were more films a bit like this. It's really, really cool. I'm going to go back to my old um, uh, scoring rates because I, I know I, I said to you I wasn't going to do that anymore, but do you know what? I, I actually quite enjoy scoring films because I think... It's my rating. Now, you can take it as, as just one person's rating, which I would recommend you do. Don't say, the old, you know, Josh said this film's amazing. It's going to be amazing. No, that's my opinion, my humble opinion. It, but, 
you know, I'm go I'm going to sort of rate films because I enjoy that element of my video. So I'm going to score this film uh, an awesome watch and give it a nine out of ten. Really cool, and it it gets nine out of ten just because it's a bloody good film, and it's and it is really eerie and scary. It is actually there is some real scares in the film because of like. We've all seen little villages. We've all probably seen sort of um, dilapidated sort of old churches that have almost like been left to sort of like, um, I don't know, no money put into it. it. It looks really run down and tiny. And the priest has got a very, very, very small uh, community to go to the church. And, and it's 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 a really, really um, cool film. It took when it first started on, started off because it starts off with the, when they go to their sort of like cottage where they're going to stay. The little, the, the first priest and the, the guy that they've hired. And I thought, what's this? We need just setting cameras up and getting the priest to wear like this head cam. And the, the first ten minutes is just like a bit sort of wishy washy. What, what's actually going on? And, you know. But then when they go out to find the church, that's when it all changes. I went, oh. They're investigating the church, and and it's absolutely fantastic. And when the other priest arrives, it, it it's it's really really cool, and it's got some quite eerie sort of spooky imagery in the film. Really enjoyable. The Borderlands, nine out of ten. Any of you guys seen it? If you have, let me know down below what you think of it. It's such a cool film. Really really enjoyed it. It's completely different. I, I bought my I've I bought myself a book to sort of like write my information down. So that's why I managed to give you the year, um, the director and the actors um, and stuff like that. So I, I've written sort of stuff down in here and give myself a few sort of like uh, uh, things to sort of like remember about the film. Um, so what did I write in here about my sort of like my notes on the film? I wrote a found footage a uh, small Vatican team investigates small church built on the pagan ground. Very eerie, scary, jump scares, uh, good build-up, sudden ending, which was good. Uh, great sounds, really creepy. The sounds were incredible, really, really cool sounds on this film. Um, I put, um, religious, folk horror, great film, lacks score, but doesn't need it. Um, so, And I gave that a 9 out of 10. So this is my sort of like horror sort of review book, which I'm sort of going to try and use just so I can maybe make my, my videos a bit more sort of interesting and a bit more right. Because I, I keep getting people pulling me up on my videos in the comments. Oh, the wrong year. Oh, no, it's not. It's not that. It's not this. And I hate that. I really, really do. I'm not there to give you the exact information. I'm just there to review my film. Um, but... I will try my best to give you some sort of information on the film, like the year and sort of like maybe who's directed it and things like that. And if it's UK or American or whatever like that, this is a UK film. So I will try and make my, my videos a little bit more correct and interesting. They're not going to be exact, guys. So please, please, if you feel the need to comment uh, and, and sort of like put not negative comments, but correction comments do it on other people's videos guys because what i'm going to do in future if i do start getting any of those i'm deleting the comment off my posts uh, because my channel's for fun it's not for exact facts there's loads of channels out there that do exact facts on films go and watch them you know you know I i'm not here for any other reason just for a bit of fun you know and this is what my channel's about Anyway, guys, thanks so much for coming into this review of The Borderlands. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and uh, please come back for some more. And please check out other horror channels. Until then, check out Horror Hands, Horror Geek, Man V Film, RS Designs, Pizzlewell, I'm the Ice Lord, Cat Watches Horror Movies, and Grumpy Andrew's Haunted House. And a massive shout out to my lad. Hope you're doing well, mate. Until next time, look after yourselves, look after one another. And I really do hope that I'll see you all soon.